Welcome to G3 Live, Cars with Curves. I'm Gail, your host. And I'm Snow, your co-host. And we have more Porsches for you tonight. You know, we just kind of creep on from the I early 60s. More? more? <laughs> from more. the early 60s to the 70s. Now we're in the 70s now. And How it's nice like, we have, what, two cars for us tonight, right? Yeah, two. Uh, uh, the 911S. Yes. And the 911 Turbo. Ooh. Yeah. 1976. Very nice. Uh, I can't say that was a good year. I really can't. What? <laughs> I, I really don't even can't. remember that year. How do you remember I, that year? I, just, I don't I know. I wasn't even born then. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of BS right there. I, I don't know, know what know, you're know. thinking. I yeah. Know. So I tell you what, they had a. Uh, the government started heavy uh, safety regulations at this time. Yes. And so that led into what? Well, the regulations uh, had come into effect, and the 911's dainty chrome bumpers. Ooh, what? Little bitty chrome bumpers. Oh, whatever. Little bitty. They I'm weren't sorry. dainty. They okay. were replaced with plastic and rubber impact bumpers. Now, you have a picture? Yeah, yeah. Take, take a look at this right here. Take a look at that right there. See, you got two oh, bumpers right See, there. not everybody was a fan of this. Back mm -hmm. in the day, but the cars had to be able to survive a five mile per hour impact. Who goes five miles an hour? Exactly, especially if you have a Porsche, you're going to be doing more than five miles an hour. It's well, five I would miles. Hope. No, five miles an hour is backing out of the driveway. That's going in the hedge again. <laughs> going to the hedge. That's going back. back to the that's hedges. going backwards. And then the inertia, and then the physics comes in, and, and all that stuff. That's exactly right. Exactly. Oh, okay. So uh, the new line. Okay, the cheapest was a 911, which was replaced by the old 911 T. What does the T mean? Now the T was like the the car was kind of straight up. You sit in the car and then down and then back like that. It's like a, I don't know what it was. I don't know. It's like <laughs> like this right here. It's like they, okay. didn't, they didn't sell too many of them. Uh, evidently not. Then there was the faster 911S and a new range chopper, uh, the Carrera. Ooh. Hello. Ooh. I don't know why they call it a range chopper. I hadn't figured that one out. Okay. Well, I was going to ask you, but you don't know. Whatever. Over, over my head. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have to research that one. Exactly. Okay. Uh, all three were used the same size, 2.7 liter, flat six engine. Flat, flat, flat. Go, Go ahead. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> flat. Just ignore him. Just ignore him. <laughs> With different amounts of power, 911, 150 horsepower. Okay. 911S, yeah. 173 horsepower. Yeah. And the Carrera? A Carrera, 210 horsepower. A whopping 210. Now, you got to think about this, viewers. Now, when Porsche started out, they had 56 horsepower. That's all they had. That's it? That's it. That's all they had, 56 horsepower. And they've gone all the way up to 210? 210. Oh, my. Because uh, the Carrera had, this is the Carrera right here. Let me show you. Did you show them? Right. It had the whale show tail on there, and that was the turbo model. Right. The Carrera, well, the whale tail and all, yeah. and that was the fast one, 210. That's the one I would take. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. In red. You know what? That ends another show tonight. Thanks for joining us. See you. See you.